Imagine holding the perfect balance. The balance between power and portability. A device that feels as light as your phone, but performs like a laptop. That has always been the magic of Apple's iPad mini. It's small. It's elegant. It's fast. But it's also deeply personal. It's the kind of device that doesn't just fit in your bag. It fits into your lifestyle. And now, all eyes are turning toward Apple's next chapter in this compact legacy. The iPad Mini 8. This is rumored to be the most refined, the most capable, and the most pro small tablet Apple has ever built. Over the years, the iPad Mini has gone through waves of transformation. It started as just a shrunken down iPad. Then it became a true powerhouse in its own category. But fans, fans have been asking for more. We've been waiting. We've been waiting for a smoother display. We've been waiting for stronger chip performance. We've been waiting for a device that finally feels worthy of Apple's modern, premium lineup. And with the upcoming iPad Mini 8, it seems Apple is finally listening. So what exactly is changing? What's new under the hood? And most importantly, will this be the generation that truly pushes the Mini into pro-level territory? Let's dive deep into everything we know so far about Apple's upcoming iPad Mini 8. To understand why the Mini 8 is so exciting, we first have to talk about the Mini 7. When the iPad Mini 7 launched, it was a good update. It impressed a lot of users. It got the A17 Pro chip, the same one from the iPhone 15 Pro. That move gave the Mini a serious speed boost. It kept it relevant. And yet, there was still a collective sigh from the Apple community. We were all a little disappointed. Why? Because it missed the one upgrade everyone has been waiting years for. The screen. It still had no promotion. The screen was still locked at 60 Hz. Meanwhile, all the pro iPhones and pro iPads were enjoying that buttery smooth 120 Hz refresh rate. The Mini felt left behind. It also lacked an OLED display. That's the other big upgrade that has become the new standard of excellence in Apple's hardware. And the design? It looked identical to the previous version. That is what sets the stage for the iPad Mini 8. This isn't just another small update. The leaks all suggest that Apple is preparing for a much, much bigger leap this time. And it all starts with the display. This has been the most important, most requested upgrade for the Mini for years. And it is finally getting the love it deserves. Several industry insiders now believe that Apple is testing two different screen variants for the Mini 8. The first variant has promotion. The 120 hertz refresh rate. This is the one we've all been begging for. This would immediately make this device feel modern. Scrolling through Safari, sketching in Procreate, every animation would feel liquid smooth. This is almost guaranteed. The second variant is the dream. OLED technology. This is the OLED treatment from the title. The same high contrast, energy efficient, perfect black panels that Apple uses in the latest, most expensive iPad Pro models. If both of these features, promotion and OLED, arrive at the same time, it would mark the biggest leap in visual quality ever seen on an iPad mini. It would look absolutely alive. But we also have to have a dose of realism. Apple is known for its carefully staged rollouts. They like to spread big features across different generations. This keeps people upgrading and it helps them manage production costs. So it is very possible that promotion is the one that's guaranteed for the Mini 8. And that beautiful, expensive OLED screen might be saved for the iPad Mini 9. Still, the possibility of even one of those upgrades is huge. The 120 Hz promotion panel would immediately make this device more enjoyable for artists, for gamers, and for anyone who just loves that ultra-smooth feel. Combine that with the rumored new chip, and you're looking at a small tablet with serious flagship power. Speaking of chips, this is where the iPad Mini 8 might surprise a lot of people. For years, fans have been hoping, begging, Apple to finally introduce an M-series chip. Put an M3 in the Mini. Put an M4 in the Mini. As exciting as that sounds, the physics just don't add up. The iPad Mini is tiny. Its chassis is thin. Its battery is compact. Its internal thermal system is designed for efficiency not for extreme power. The M-Series. Chips, while efficient, still run hot. They run hot under heavy workloads. Putting one inside, the tiny iPad mini would cause it to overheat. 
it would thermal throttle, performance would drop, and it would destroy the battery life. Apple would be forced to make the device thicker. And Apple never makes things thicker. Instead, all signs point toward the smart choice. A new generation A-series processor, the A19 Pro. This chip is expected to debut in the iPhone 17 Pro and then make its way into the iPad Mini 8. It will be built on a new 2 nanometer process. This means it will have massive gains in efficiency, in AI computation, and in graphics rendering. Apple might even tweak the chip slightly for the Mini. Maybe trim one GPU core just to perfectly balance the power draw and the thermals. This means the iPad Mini 8 will still deliver flagship level performance. It will be capable of handling demanding apps, console grade games, and heavy multitasking. But it will do it all in a smart, energy efficient package. When it comes to the design, Apple seems to be sticking to what already works. The flat edge chassis that was introduced with the iPad Mini 6 is likely to remain. And that's fine. It's a great modern design. We can expect some subtle refinements thinner bezels improved weight distribution, and possibly new color options. The leaks suggest Apple might ditch the pastel colors. They might introduce a deeper midnight blue or titanium silver. This would be to align the mini visually with the M5 iPad Pro and the upcoming iPhone 17 Pro series. It would make it look and feel more pro. Internally, Apple may introduce new coprocessors. Things like the N1 and C1 chips. These are small, custom chips that help the main A19 Pro processor. They offload specific tasks. They handle wireless communication. They run AI inference. They optimize the battery. This leads to smoother performance and, most importantly, longer battery endurance. The battery itself might not grow much in physical size. But because of the improved efficiency from that 2 nanometer A19 Pro chip and these new co-chips, the real-world usage time could extend by 10 to 15%. One of the most underrated upgrades expected in the iPad Mini 8 is connectivity. This is the one for travelers, for pilots, for students on the go. Apple is rumored to include Wi-Fi 7 support. That means faster, more stable connections. It's also expected to get Bluetooth 6. And for the cellular versions, this is huge. Apple will likely debut its own custom 5G modem, the C2 or C1X modem. This could bring up to 50% faster 5G download speeds. And it will mean better performance in crowded areas like airports, city centers, and large events. Imagine streaming 4K movies or joining a video meeting on the go without lag or drop signals all from a device that fits in one hand. That is the experience Apple is targeting. When we talk about the iPad mini, we can't ignore its place in Apple's lineup. It has always been the in-between device, bigger than an iPhone, smaller than a regular iPad. For years, it's been the favorite of travelers, pilots, students, and even doctors, people who use it as a portable digital notebook. The iPad mini 8 is expected to strengthen that identity even further. Apple's rumored goal with this generation is to turn the Mini into the ultimate compact productivity tool. It will be something that can handle note-taking, drawing, reading, and even light video editing all with ease. Pair it with the latest Apple Pencil Pro, and you get even tighter integration. New hover gestures, pressure-based shortcuts, and new tools for artists. But here is the other half of that productivity dream. The rumors suggest a redesigned Magic Keyboard Mini. This is a huge deal. A Magic Keyboard for the Mini that features a larger trackpad and a function row. This, this right here, is what turns the iPad Mini from a great tablet into a true pocket-friendly laptop experience. Now, let's talk storage and RAM. This is where the iPad Mini 8 takes another giant step toward the Pro models. Reports suggest that Apple may introduce configurations with up to 12 gigabytes of RAM. This is a first for the Mini. It will also have storage options ranging from 128 gigabytes all the way up to one terabyte. This is a massive improvement. This is for the professionals, for the people who rely on large file handling, for video editing, or for multi. Tasking with multiple heavy apps. This is Apple finally saying, we take the Mini seriously as a pro device. So, when can we expect this new device? 
Most analysts are pointing to a late 2026 release window. This would be, most likely, during Apple's October event. The company typically refreshes the Mini every 2 to 2.5 years, and that timing aligns perfectly with the current roadmap. This means the iPad Mini 8 could launch alongside a new iPad Air 7, or even a new base model iPad. Pricing should remain in that familiar range. It should start around $499 for the base Wi-Fi model. But, and this is the big but, if Apple does add that expensive OLED display, you should expect the price to rise. It could be by about $50 or even $100, depending on the storage. That's the price of new technology. Now, for the big question, should you wait for the iPad Mini 8? Or should you just buy the current Mini 7? If you already have the Mini 7 and it's serving you well, you're not missing much yet. It is still a fast, reliable, and smooth tablet. But if you're craving that smoother 120 hertz display, if you're an artist, a gamer, or a student who takes a lot of notes, if you want better color accuracy or next level AI performance, the Mini 8 might be the exact upgrade you've been waiting for. If you value portability, but you don't want to compromise on power, this upcoming model could hit that perfect, perfect balance. So here is my personal, honest opinion. At the end of the day, Apple's strategy with the iPad Mini 8 seems crystal clear. It is evolution, not revolution. The company isn't trying to reinvent the wheel. It's perfecting it. This is Apple finally listening to its most dedicated fans. This is them refining the formula. Thinner bezels, a much, much better screen, a smarter chip, and better accessories. This isn't just about another small tablet. This is about Apple redefining what the mini experience means in 2026 and beyond. It's a tablet that fits in your hand, yet holds the power of Apple's entire future AI ecosystem. So, whether you're a digital artist sketching on the go, a student taking notes between classes, or a traveler editing videos mid-flight, the iPad Mini 8 could easily become your favorite Apple device of a year. It's small, it's powerful, and it's about to get a whole lot smarter. If you're as excited about this launch as I am, I want to hear from you. What's the one feature you're waiting for? Is it the 120 hertz screen? Is it the OLED? Or is it that new Magic Keyboard Mini? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. And as always, if you like this video and you want to stay up to date on all the latest Apple leaks, rumors, and news, please do us a huge favor. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video with a friend who loves the iPad mini. And be sure to hit that bell icon. That way, you'll be the first to know when we post new content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.